Welcome to the Sweet 16 Sprint Review uh, with the Common Stack. Thank you for joining us and, and checking in on all of our progress in the last two weeks. It's been a great sprint, one of the best we've ever had. Uh, it's been so lovey-dovey in all of our community channels. Uh, and this one is very well named with companion planting, our companion sprint. Uh, we are diving in with the uh, token engineering commons and uh, really building such a beautiful like uh, ecosystem together. And it's been a lot of fun, but let's just dive right into it. Let me share my screen. <laughs> So the biggest news, of course, is finally, after all of this time, we know what the hatch is going to be. We know how the hatch is going to work out. We know what the, how long it's going to be. We know how the impact hour rate. And it's all built around simple total supply uh, numbers for, for builders. So the community came together and voted. And we, we, we uh, actually iterated on this. This proposal was iterated uh, four times and had probably six or seven different uh, iterations off of the first Goldilocks proposal and is one of the highly, most highly iter community iterated uh, d economic designs and, and the first iterated economic design by a community that ever happened. And so uh, we're really proud to announce the parameters for the token engineering commons. And uh, it's just, it's uh, so relaxing that we can tell people all the answers to all the questions. And now that we have these parameters, there's uh, right now, if you get in, in just, uh, there's not very much time left. Uh, oh, I need to make that screen bigger. It shows up on the right. Uh, there's only one day and nine hours left to uh, participate in the test hatch. So if we're doing a dress rehearsal with, uh, with the actual parameters of 83, the, so these are the real parameters that we're going to use, and we airdropped a million die, well, a million test die, to all of you, all the, seeds, all the trusted seed holders, so you can actually pr uh, pretend like you're buying into the real hatch and support us. We, you all have a million die. I would like to see us hit our max goal in the next, two, in the next day because I know we have so much uh, test die in our community. I think we can do it. We haven't even hit our mingle yet, so get out there. Participate in the hatch, make yourself some test TEC tokens, and give it a shot. Uh, and with that, I'll pass it to Tam. Cool. Okay. And, and we're on Sprint 16, as Griff said, companion planting. And for anyone that doesn't know what companion planting is, it's um, the... Um, strategic planting of crops next to each other, specific plants next to each other, for pest control, uh, pollination, or to increase crop productivity. Now, tomato growers who are watching this will know that if you're planting tomatoes, you plant basil around it, and that way you get to actually enjoy your warm, delicious, ripened tomatoes at the end of the season instead of having them eaten by bugs. Um, and um, here's what we're doing. Um, it's the end of our sprint. It's the end of sprint 16. So we did our retro. This is our review. And in our retro, we have, um, as usual, a reflection on what we can do better, what went well, and actions to improve. And this sprint, the things, the next sprint, the things we want to improve is um, having some space to have to be social with each other. Uh, you know, uh, uh, maybe an hour every sprint or two hours every sprint without an agenda, with with, um, no obligations just to come and chat with each other as if we were in an office together or something and also to um, to work with our uh, work out a process for our better managing contributors and onboarding and helping people find things to do so speaking of companion planting um, is there a better pair than common stack and TEC? So let's talk a little bit about the TEC. We have some really big news uh, from the TEC this week, a lot of big news. Um, one of the big things is we have two new stewards. Um, YGG, we'd like to welcome. He is um, the leader, the founder and the leader of TEC Labs, which happens every Friday and you can join and um, learn how to use CAD-CAD and to, to um, pick up Python. Um, I encourage you to check out the TEC calendar and jump on if you can. 
Um, and also, uh, oh, one other thing, there's an amazing love fest for him, for, for his nomination. So do go and look at the TEC stewards call from last week uh, if you just want to get a little feel good from uh, the, the lovey-dovey environment of the TEC. And Chewy, as well as a, as a new steward, he is um, going to be leading the comms group um, and providing some strategic direction and uh, strategy for comms. Um, the TEC timing, um, the, all of these stewards and working groups have gotten together and um, sort of planned out everything that's critical for Hatch. And we are now using this uh, sprint roadmap to track the thing that the actual timeline of the hatch. Um, there have been two extensions for our timeline. Uh, one is to allow uh, time for the impact hour data analysis to be studied and then to be reviewed and then for a vote for uh, what interventions we may or may not want to do. And the other is we added another week for the runoff vote um, for the parameters so that we had a really nice turnout. Uh, two other things I want to say about the TEC is one, if you've been praised in the TEC and you have impact hours, um, those impact hours will disappear forever for all accounts, for all members not associated uh, with the trusted seed. So you have to activate your trusted seed membership in order to actually redeem those hours uh, when we hatch. And the last thing is if you have activated your trusted seed membership, you have been airdropped CS love. So uh, if you didn't get our mail because it got in your spam folder, but you activated your trusted seed membership, get in touch with Dan or get in touch with me because uh, you have CS love in your wallet and you can and use it to get a cool t-shirt or the hat that Jeff is wearing. And with that, I will pass to Chris. Wait, Livia? I think Livia's first. <laughs> I'll pass to Livia. Thanks, Tim. So yeah, uh, this sprint, we welcome Nate. Uh, Nate is a community steward of the TEC and the Common Stack has been doing uh, this case studies for how the cultural build is developing and what are the learnings we're having from it. So Nate wrote this uh, super cool hatch lessons and moving forward from our runoff process of the params that Griff just mentioned. And we thought it would be an amazing opportunity to bring him to the case studies to help Atta with all the development of, of this work since he's super involved in the TEC community and has this critical look about everything that's happening. Um, so another thing is Celeste. Celeste is um, it's an arbitrator that can help with proposals that has been that have been disputed from disputable voting and disputable conviction voting. So we need to understand as a community if we're gonna use Celeste as this arbitrator or not. And Sam put up this proposal explaining uh, all, all of this, what this means, uh, what are the pros and cons of this decision. And we have this vote open, open during the weekend and on Monday we'll have the results if this is approved, we'll move on next steps on the next uh, SOPGOV call on Tuesday. So please go there and vote uh, to the, uh, in the forum super quick, just a click. Um, and it's very easy to read this post as well. And, and then just to wrap it up, we had a temperature check of what we're, what, how we're doing with Ostrom's principles, this print and more than having this understanding of what the community thinks of where we're at, it's important to notice that how many people understand about Ostrom's principles now. So this is really cool. There is this uh, big education um, uh, process and we all have been ex exchanging knowledge around Ostrom and the best practices for governing uh, self-managing um, institutions. So we also had a session that Jess is gonna talk more about, but we spent an hour chatting about Ostrom, uh, her principles, the three influential models. So yeah, this has been really great fruitful discussions, this print. And with that, I'll pass to Chris. Awesome. So yeah, I'm just gonna share my screen here uh, just to go over um, 
yeah, couple show a couple things that we uh, did this this sprint. So uh, first of all, the augmented bonding curve uh, page on our website uh, had been a little bit down. The the actual interactive part of it. Um, was not loading. So we troubleshot that. Um, thanks to Daplion for all of uh, his help on that. Uh, but yeah, we recoded the, the website part for this and it's now working. You can now simulate any of your uh, bonding curve parameters and run the simulation and it should all be working perfectly. Um, so yeah, check that out, comstack.org slash ABC. And yeah, it should be working. I also, uh, we. Put, put out a very short uh, piece explaining how to use CS Love to get your free common stack swag. That includes your shipping and the cost of the item. So there should be no cost involved. Uh, we've even airdropped you Rinky ETH to cover your gas um, on the test net. So it should be totally free to claim. Um, but this, uh, this little article gives you a quick rundown. We've got a little screenshot of our some of our beautiful pieces here. Uh, so make sure you guys, if you've activated your membership, make sure you claim it. Uh, we'd love to see you guys wearing uh, this stuff out. Um, send us a picture, um, tag us on Twitter, let us know how you like it. Um, besides that, uh, we've also got um, the May newsletter um, is on its way out. Uh, it should be coming out today. Um, just finalizing the final details on it. As well, this this sprint, we uh, communicated quite a bit about our uh, C-Stack burn, which I believe Dan will have a lot more detail to share on that. But yeah, the, the burn is complete and uh, We've, we've shared a, a various amount of details. Christopher has been doing a great job uh, communicating the uh, functionality changes of the DAP as, as the burn took place. And yeah, we look forward to uh, continuing to engage with you guys uh, as we go forward. Um, and if you, if you are activated, your C stack from Praise, et cetera, will be minted on chain. So if you're looking for your on chain uh, C stack, make sure you activate. And with that, I will pass to Jess. Thank you, Chris. Hello, everybody. I, we've had a lot going on, so not as much time to maybe document, but I think the biggest thing that we're excited to share with you, if you didn't see all over Twitter and everywhere else, or if you didn't get a chance to watch and you have some time um, over a weekend, um, Jeff and Livia and I and our collaborator, Renzo D'Andrea, gave a two hour uh, workshop on polycentric governance Welcome. that's now on YouTube. So if you have some time to go through it, uh, we looked at um, the two frames and governance, the decision space and the voting space to talk about culture and this myth about one governance tool to rule them all and burning our over, overly simplistic mental models of governance. And this is kind of a, a cornerstone or building block for a lot of the ongoing governance research. And this was a very collective effort. A lot of people across the space are looking at governance and how we design uh, and, and um, yeah, look at our, look at our decision-making systems. So uh, if you have a chance, go check this out. And we had a second workshop for an hour that I'm working to get the video up on YouTube about Ostrom's principles um, as Livia was sharing. So we have a new channel actually in our Discord. If you're interested in governance research, we created um, this governance research channel for people to come and chat. We put loads of really interesting links there to study. So if you're interested in governance, hop into the governance research channel on Discord and or check out the workshop and let us know if you have any feedback. The other things were we visited with our friends, uh, Reiki and friends over at Haifa uh, Do, the decentralized human organization. We joined their circle and had a chat and shared some things that are going on. And we're going to be submitting a proposal to support uh, the many contributors and operations of the common stack uh, community so we're going to be submitting a proposal there and then the final note which we'll be announcing a little more soon but a little sneak peek we kind of mentioned we've been working we are going to become the first ever community staking DAO of regen network so they're entrusting in our community the common stack community including you will be stewarding um governance tokens which will be accruing some interest so we'll be having some upcoming chats about that and with that, I will pass it to Dan. What's shaking, Dan? 
Oh, it's me. I thought it was trusted Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I had a trusted seat right here. <laughs> Let me. Oh, you need to stop sharing so I can share. I gotta push that button. There we go. Oh, oh, these buttons and they're all look green. They're you got your green. plant. You're doing gardening. How's your plant? You we saw it last time. <laughs> yeah, it's it's coming together all right. Uh, so what kind I of plant? I used to have some tomatoes, but that didn't work out. So I had no idea what's growing down here. <laughs> but anyhow, let me let me just share a little bit. As Chris was mentioning, we had uh, the burn. We just sent this campaign today. I mean, if you got burned, you got this email. This went out to 140 people. Not to worry, actually, <laughs> not to worry at all. Like, uh, and, and you can see how much, actually, how much system we did burn. 177,487 Sistack tokens. So, you know, we're thinking about, yeah, yeah, you know, live translating. So, all, all the auditions uh, on C-SPAN can listen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyhow, like, all of this is very much transparently recorded in our burn log. So, basically, you can see the list of all the burns. And basically, also, just as well, like, we minted some tokens for development purposes and they were burned already. So all of this is fairly recorded. Something that's very fun to think about is we burned Griff. Griff got burned. You know, and you and you can you can see it down here. Like basically we have to adjust the ratio uh, <laughs> of his system tokens. Um, but what what's fun basically uh, you can activate now. You can you can fully use the DAP to activate and this is very seamless. If you had a, any kind of, of problem with this, you can also apply for a scholarship. Um, and this is fun, like uh, Paula just activated, like while we are on this call, she activated. So that's super fun. And just as well, somebody that got burned activated as well. So th this is super fun because while we were on this call, uh, hanging out and chilling, four people activated. So that's, that's super interesting. But thinking about uh, numbers in terms of the stats on the trusted seat, Besides that, um, we had 84 applicants in May and we had a civil attack. So, you know, I just put this plan in front of me down here and some mosquitoes keep coming. So we had a civil attack. We had 11, uh, 11 strong civil attack. That was kind of crazy, you know, just looking at that. Like, actually, I actually wanted to praise that person. Like, you know, the kind of effort that goes into attacking a system like this, uh, with 11 different profiles and telegrams and, and Twitters and whatnot. It's like, wow, man, that's that's amazing, but for the totally wrong reasons and totally wrong incentives. So that's not exactly the kind of people we want in the trusted seat. And so far we had 175 people activated so far, 38 scholarships. So there's open space to do that, uh, yeah. Uh, so that's 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 me on my side, and I'll pass it to Jeff. Senor Jeff. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks so much for the update. Um, yeah, so speaking of um, polycentric governance, um, a lot of other communities are looking to the Common Stack and the TEC and, and emulating how um, these processes are working, whether it's, you know, working groups or um, sort of our cultural dispute resolution processes. There's a lot of people that are looking to um, kind of how things are unfolding in these communities and, and replicating them in, in their communities. It's really great to see. Um, so we've been working with uh, the Gitcoin community, doing some computer-aided governance for them coming up uh, in uh, Gitcoin round 10. They've seen a massive increase in civil and collusion attacks. Um, so our partners over at Block Science have been really helping out to design um, a machine learning algorithm. But of course, we can't just have algorithms making all the decisions because actually the common stack and token engineering commons uh, if it's just a machine saying, is this collusion or not, we look very collusive because we have a very supportive organic community, very dense uh, interconnections between. So it's important to have humans in that loop as well. So it's not just algorithms saying this is collusion or not. We need uh, human stewards and they're organizing into working groups and, and looking at this, um, the outputs of these machine algorithms and then putting some human um, uh, flair to some touch to whether or not uh, and how people get sanctioned and using graduated sanctions, a lot of Ostrom's principles. So the Gitcoin community has really appreciated a lot of the research that we've been putting into, um, you know, boundaries and um, polycentric governance systems, uh, graduated sanctions. And um, yeah, really exciting to see that moving forward in round 10 and, and further in the future as well. Um, some other really exciting collaborations. Um, just mentioned uh, the Seeds community. 
there is also the uh, Regen community. Uh, we've also been speaking with uh, Paul Stamets team over at Fungi Perfecti. They are extremely excited about uh, commons and DAOs and using those to uh, forward some of their research around uh, micro-remediation or um, using mushrooms to save the bees, one of their most exciting projects. And we're chatting with them about uh, potentially spinning up a DAO or uh, using NFTs to fund these um, bee feeders that can vaccinate beehives against colony collapse disorders. So they've landed in our neck of the woods. They're really interested in uh, commons management and how we can use cryptographic tokens to augment uh, physical commons and, and do real good in the world. Um, another group out of, operating out of BC in Canada, uh, which hopefully we can uh, have some crossover with them is the Future Thinkers podcast. These are some of the leading thinkers in complexity, system thinking, regenerative living. Um, we also cross paths with them. Uh, and they're doing some really cool things. They're looking to start a smart village in Clearwater, BC, just outside of Kamloops. Um, and they love everything going on at the Common Stack. Uh, they've already uh, started chilling us on their channels and uh, they're doing an NFT drop uh, for Regenerative Smart Village. And they're really interested in uh, regenerative commons and how to use DAOs and uh, collaborative funding tools uh, to augment their, their system and, uh, and um, have kind of local ownership and, and governance and uh, communal uh, steering of these kinds of systems. So really exciting things. Um, also, the IXO Foundation has reached out. Uh, they're interested in collaborating further. This is the, the blockchain of impact. They work with a lot of really um, uh, heavy hitting real world institutions like uh, um, the, the World Economic Forum and, and a lot of uh, um, big banks and, and development initiatives. So they're also interested in our ecosystem and how we can collaborate to uh, build tools together to, to create the kind of change in the world that we need to see. Um, so just a couple of updates uh, on some of those partnerships and we're really eager to uh, keep you in the loop with how those evolve. Um, and I will pass it back to uh, Tam or Griff. Who's gonna take it? I can take it. Uh, it's praise time. There's so many, we're, we're only so many people on this call and uh, we have to praise Ivy for coming up with such a great name for this sprint. Praise Lauren for her amazing work shilling 83 and convincing the community that it really was the best economic design. Uh, Sam, uh, Sam and Paulo for, and, for leading the common swarm and in, in, in creating the hatch and getting everything launched for the dress rehearsal. Chewy, Zeptimus and Lauren for the amazing text and video that is up there for the hatch the hatch, uh, the actual hatch, uh, yeah, the hatch, for the hatch, and Eduardo for all the work uh, doing hatcher outreach and getting the people who have impact hours aware, also Craig for all of his behind the scenes work, uh, tracking all the data about uh, who has activated, who hasn't, and who has impact hours. Ludo, Nicoline, and Ivy for their work of the CS Love Swag Shop. None of this would happen. Nobody would get swag without all of you guys. Atta and Nate for diving into the case study of the TEC, and so everyone can learn from the TC Commons experience. Niran from, from Penvala uh, for supporting the Governing the Commons Book Club and making helping our uh, community really understand uh, uh, Eleanor Ostrom's thought process. Dapline for hacking on the ABC sim on the website. Renzo for joining us on that awesome polycentric governance talk. Uh, Reiki and the other Haifa DAO members for supporting our proposal creation process. Oh man, there's a lot more guys. Uh, Greg and the rest of the crew from Regen Network for the support uh, of uh, and partnering and making us one of their first first partner DAOs. Uh, Christopher Merlin, Amin Spanet, and, and the rest of the crew that worked so hard on the Swiss membership DAO and made the burn process so seamless for everybody. Uh, Paula for activating her trusted seed and Random Shinichi for paying extra dues to actually cover her scholarship, which is super cool. Uh, hackers, that, uh, the hackers, we gotta praise the hackers that are attacking the trusted seed right now, helping us ensure that the trusted seed process is robust. Uh, thank you for the penetration testing, guys. We love it. Uh, and Kevin Owaki and the Gitcoin team, more than just the airdrop, they're making computer-aided governance real. Come on, heroes. Uh, Paul Stamets, of course, for saving the bees and looping us in on that incredible work. And uh, Zargum for making all of this possible. Thank you, Jess, for the re reminder. He's, he's basically behind the scenes in almost all of these things. And of course, the Future Thinkers podcast, uh, the team behind that, that came and presented to the TC and also, of course, uh, is doing amazing work up in BC uh, and looping us in. Thank you guys for this awesome call and we'll see you.